Hi, I'm Alexandra. I work in Red Hat in a debugger team, and I'll tell you why do you want to use Valgrind and GDB together, and what I've done to make it easier. So, I'll be talking about GDB, uh, about Valgrind, and about how to use them together. I think it's not well known that you can connect to Valgrind from inside GDB and ask Valgrind about things. So, before some new features came to Valgrind, you used to need two terminals. So, you would run Valgrind at one terminal, you would run GDB at other terminal, and you connect them together using VGDB. I wrote an article about how to do that and what advantages it may have. Also, I'd like to talk a bit about Debug Info D. So, GDB as a debugger is interactive. You'll run your program under GDB, you can stop it, you can inspect variables, and so on. But Valgrind is not. When you are running program under Valgrind, uh, Valgrind, you can change anything on the fly, and Valgrind will give you some diagnostics at the end. But when using Valgrind and GDB together, uh, it's different. So you can, Valgrind has a GDB server embedded in it, and when running GDB, you can connect to Valgrind, and when Valgrind will have any any problem with your with your code, like. For example, invalid write happens. There is conditional jump dependent on initialized value or anything. Valgrind will stop GDB. It will stop running your program. And at this point, you can send some comments to Valgrind. You can ask Valgrind about is, is this variable defined or not, for example. Uh, current Valgrind release. Uh, it brings uh, several new feature, features which makes uh, connecting to Valgrind easier. With VGDB multi-mode, you don't need to use two terminals to connect to Valgrind anymore. Now you can run GDB and you can run Valgrind from inside GDB. And the other new features is uh, Valgrind Python script, which allows you to ask uh, Valgrind about things in a very convenient way. Both of them are already in Fedora 38 and they work out of the box uh, together with Debug Info D. So I'd like to say a few words about Debug Info D. Debug Info D is HTTP based uh, server. Uh, which contains uh, debug info packages and various debugging tools can fetch them from there automatically. On Fedora 38, it's enabled by default and Valgrind would automatically fetch any missing debug info packages. And GDB will ask you whether you want to do that. In some cases, when you have a lot of debug info packages missing, this might take a lot of time. So it might be inconvenient for you. So Aaron Mary is working on on-demand downloading. So a few words about VGDB multi-mode. So first of all, what's VGDB? VGDB means Valgrind to GDB and it's a small tool which serves as an intermediary between Valgrind and GDB. Valgrind GDB server uh, starts only with the program, so we need VGDB to set up some initial communication. Uh, we are, for doing that, we are using GDB's remote protocol. So GDB using remote protocol will communicate with VGDB and pass some um, arguments to it, and then VGDB will launch Valgrind. Why do you want to use this? One thing, you don't need two terminals to communicate with GDB anymore, with Valgrind anymore. You'll run GDB 
and you can launch from grind from it. And other advantages it brings, you can keep your breakpoints, you have GDB history. Uh, this uh, simplifies scripting a lot. And, but this feature is slightly experimental and it has some limitations I want to talk about. So one of the limitations of this is that GDB, VGDB communication uses standard input and standard output, which means that your debugged program can't read from standard input and can't output. So the standard in and out is pretty much being eaten by GDB, VGDB communication. You can avoid this so by running VGDB in a separate terminal and connecting them using ports. But this makes things more complicated and, yeah, it makes things much more complicated, but you still have the advantages by you can still keep the breakpoints, GDB history, and so on. I'm working on addressing this. I'm trying to redirect GDB, GDB server communication in general to use sockets instead of standard input and standard output. Uh, other limitation of this feature is you can ra run while grind from inside GDB, but it's not that simple yet. You need to perform some preparational steps. We, we, we are working on implementing target while grind, which would hide all, all the preparational steps and it will make it easier to just run while grind. I also, I forgot to say, this VGDB multi feature was designed by Mark Vielard and I co-worked with him on implementing it. So how to actually run while grind from inside GDB? First of all, you just run GDB as usual. Then you need to do this preparational steps. You need to Uh, you need to set remote exec file to your debugged program. Then, because this is, so uh, the remote protocol or GDB, GDB server communication, it thinks that it's some remote debugging, but we are doing things locally. So we need to set this through to slash. And this command, this tar target extended remote pipe VGDB is the command that will launch while grind. Here you can see V args, those are arguments passed to while grind. Uh, here we are using quiet because we don't want to, we don't want Valgrind to talk too much. If you, if you uh, want to debug your program repeatedly, if you want to run the command repeatedly, you can do all the preparational steps in a one command using GDB's X command. And uh, as I told before, we, uh, we are working on target Valgrind, which should be, I don't know, <laughs> I think it, it will be soon, it will be here soon. So the next feature, uh, which was written or implemented by Philippe Barroquier to is uh, Python, Python extension for monitor commands. So monitor commands is, monitor commands is the way how to communicate with GDB server. There's a special request GDB sends to GDB server and GDB servers responds to them. There, there is no further integrations, it's just a text. GDB, uh, Valgrind has GDB server, which is embedded, and Valgrind has uh, a specific set it, of its own monitor commands. And this feature allows uh, better integration. So it brings help. So before, before this, you had to look up what are the commands, but now you can, uh, you can type help all grind and GDB will tell you w which commands are possible. Also, there is auto completion. So GDB will automatically complete the comment and you don't have to remember it. You can search even for the comment. And what's I think the best is GDB will evaluate uh, the comment arguments. The thing is, so you have some vari uh, undefined variable, for example, and you want to expect, uh, inspect it. You want to ask while grind, is this defined? And before, before this feature, you had, to, because while grind doesn't know anything about variables. It only knows about addresses. So you had to ask GDB to evaluate the address of the variable for you, and then 
you would feed that to the monitor command. But now, GDB will evaluate any argument for you, which is very convenient. So how it looks like in the real life, so you'll run GDB and some program. Then you will perform the preparational steps. So you, you'll set remote exec file, you set sysroot to slash, and then you'll, this is, you'll use this command to run while grind with some arguments. You can use other arguments, of course. Like you can specify Valgrind tool to use, for example, like tool call green, for example, or anything else. Then you'll start, you can set a breakpoint in this point or any, anything you want to do with GDB. You can see here that, uh, that Valgrind script was, Valgrind monitor script was loaded. It is only loaded when Valgrind's GDB server is used. Also, you can see here, you can Type help while grind, and let's do that. So if you type help while grind, GDB will list possible while grind tools you can use. Note that memcheck, oops. memcheck is default tool for while grind, uh, but you can see you can use any any else. So memcheck deals with memory issues, and help grind. It deals with threading, for example, uh, but Valgrind has a bunch of uh, other tools. So here you can see that if you you can you can get specific f help for any of the tool, and it will list a list of uh, comments that it, it's possible to use. Another interesting thing that this Python extension brings is, is an option to change Valgrind option dyna dynamically. So when you normally run Valgrind, you'll set some options and you can change them on the fly. But when Valgrind is connected to GDB, you, you, you will stop at some point. For example, you set the breakpoint and you can add or change some options. You can add verbose, you can uh, Trace, you can set traces calls to yes or any other option. So now I want to show how, how you may use monitor comments. So for example, so for the other thing I want to show is that you continue in GDB and then you got interrupted by Valgrind and its output is is interleaved with GDB's output. So here Valgrind says there is a conditional jump or move dependent on uninitialized value. And here this six drop signal is a signal generated by Valgrind to stop, to stop your program. And GDB will output you the, the line of the code where Valgrind has problems. So there are two flags here and one of them is uninitialized. And to determine which of them is uninitialized, we can use memchecked get babbits command. Here you can see that we can feed, we can feed uh, memcheck this, and this Python script will evaluate the address of this variable. So uh, we get vbits, um, knows uh, which bit is defined and which is not. And all ones refers to undefined and zeros refers to defined. So this, this flag is undefined. So it's, it's the one which was uninitialized. Another interesting memcheck command is who points at. It will list you references to some pointers. So if you think that the pointer might be leaked, it can, it can help you. Another interesting Valgrind feature is stop at exit. So normally when your program will end, Valgrind will shut down, but you can ask it to stop at exit. So stop, and uh, at this point you can use some monitor commands. I, have, I don't have an example with leaks, sorry. 
So here I ask uh, memcheck if there is any memory leak and Valgrin says no, everything was freed. So for the summary, using Valgrind and GDB together might be incredibly useful, but it used to be a bit tricky to set up. You need to know about how to set up two terminals. And also, I think not even, not many people even know it's possible. But this uh, new, the, those new feature Valgrind brings in the current release, it's much, much, much simpler. But there are some, some problems we are working on addressing. Uh, here I'm linking my work in progress. I'm trying to, I'm trying to redirect GDB GBD server communication when GDB server is run locally and using standard input standard out to sockets. And also, I wrote some articles about how to use Valgrind and GDB together. I have a code example here uh, with intentional bugs there. And uh, I'm giving an examples of various commands, various monitor commands. Also, I have a personal blog, and sometimes I would blog about my project there. Also, uh, I like to thank all the people that made uh, Valgrind and GDB closer. So Aaron Mary is helping implementing debug info D support for Valgrind and GDB. Philip Parokier is the author of Python monitor commands. And also he was the one who integrated GDB server into Valgrind. Uh, Mark Pilar designed the GDB multi-mode and we worked on it together. And Andrew Burgess is helping me with uh, my uh, standard in standard out to socket redirection on GDB side. Uh, thank you for listening. Questions? Say a question and Alexandra will repeat it into the microphone. Okay, then I will make it short. Um, so, Valgrind is a simulator, right? And basically, the program it gets translated into some uh, byte codes. I think it's called new code, right? Inside Valgrind. So, my question is when you are debugging a program using this mode, mm -hmm. do you still have access like, to a step instruction, you know, and yes. to the assembly? Uh, so yeah, I can. I have to repeat your question. So, uh, when debugging with, when connected, when connected to Valgrind, right. do do we still have access to step, to GDB step? Yeah, do you still see your program? Yes. Like transparently, like. If yes. Valgrind yes. You. The only thing that you can see is your program output that it outputs to standard output. Okay. But other than that. Yes, okay. but other than that, it might contain some bugs because it's a completely new feature. So you might try it and you might find bugs, but stepping uh, should be possible. Okay, so the question is, is it possible to pass both Valgrind and GDB to GCC? Uh, I, I, I wasn't aware of this feature, so I haven't tried. So, sorry, I'll try. Thank you for the question. Mm -hmm. So the question is that Valentine also has this call grind, call graph tree. 
Yes. So I have to say that I haven't used a call grind myself. I was using memcheck when developing this. So I don't know, I would have to try. My understanding of this uh, is that uh, this, this is a technology specific to desktop application development. Can this be uh, adapted to microcontrollers? Uh, this, I mean, uh, GDB, you can use GDB with microcontrollers. Yes, so, uh, so if there is, well, sure, like if you, you if you have enough memory to install well grind, I have, I can see no reason why it won't work, but I haven't tried on microcontrollers myself, but it should work. You try. Great. Thank you. Yes, Glenn. Um, when you when using uh, ball grind, you can sometimes see something like uh, a write was happened after memory was free, for mm -hmm. instance. Um, if the um, if the program stops at that uh, at that point, can we? From GDB, ask well grind to print like when the memory was freed or when it was allocated. Uh, is, is there a way to ask that information? Or would yeah, I'm not sure at this point. Sorry, <laughs> I would have to look up the documentation. Yeah. So, so the question was, uh, if there was uh, if ball grind stopped because there was using of the memory after free, so how exactly we would ask ball grind using memory uh, monitor commands uh, to tell us? I'm not sure, uh, so I don't uh, like I don't know every every monitor command from the top of my head. I would have to look up documentation. So. Yes. So thank you, Alexander. Oh, right. Yeah, I haven't tried. So uh, the question was, is it possible to integrate while grind with LLDB? And my answer is, I haven't tried. But I think it's an interesting thing to try. Thank you for the question. This one? Yes. Uh, can we define which error we want to stop? Sure. After which, uh, which error we want, uh, we want to stop our program? Okay, so the, the question is, can we ask Valgrind to stop only at specific yeah, places? Which, let's say we have a lot of errors, or potential errors in our uh, program, and we want to define. I think we, we would have to use suppression. So there is a suppression mechanism that you can use with Valgrind. Uh, in for the, the, those cases, yes, yes. Or maybe it is possible to put uh, some automatic reaction in the GDB uh, I don't. To define to automatically continue, for example. Yes, yes, I think uh, it's a, like I would use suppression. Uh, yeah, that sounds great. Maybe we should start working on that. Okay, thank you, Alexandra, for all your answers.